My name is Kathy Little and I'm president of the Beaver Valley Nordic Ski Club. We're a cross-country ski club and uh, this is our fourth season. We actually, our first season was 2013-2014. We're um, a volunteer run, uh, not-for-profit club and we're situated at the top of the Beaver Valley just above Kimberley. I think most of our members are very um, happy to have a cross-country ski club and trails in the community and so uh, part of what members get from that is, um, from being members, is actually supporting the idea of a club in the community. We have about uh, 60 members on average, um, and we have seven directors on our board of directors, and we have a number of people in the community who are our partners or support us. Um, our immediate goals for the club are to, uh, to continue to improve the, the uh, grooming of our trails and keep making the experience better for for our members and for visitors. And I can see that there would be opportunity. Right now we have uh, over nine kilometers of groomed trails, but I can see the potential in the future to have perhaps 25 to 30 kilometers of groomed trails. But we need the resources to do that. We're still, you know, we're still at the early stages. What's special about this area um, is it's the west side of the Beaver Valley, uh, stretching between Beaver Valley Ski Club and the old Talisman. And it's about 1,000 acres of public land. There's about 800 acres of uh, crown land, 100 acres of conservation land, and 100 acres of Bruce Trail land. And uh, altogether, it's known as the Kimberley Forest. And uh, it's actually threaded with trails. And the interesting thing is that the building that we're in right now used to be Bud's Place back in the 1970s and the 1980s and Bud Hoffman ran a cross-country ski business. He took tours out. He laid out, out the trails that are in the Kimberley Forest now. And so we've just actually um, utilized a small fraction of the trails that exist. And uh, so I think what's special is just the potential that, that we have here to expand and make it something really, really unique. I, I would describe the club maybe in the way that it's been described back to me by people who come to the area and feel and actually feel delighted um, because the attraction might be downhill skiing but people are delighted to find that there's also a cross-country ski venue here and so I think our trails are, uh, are very family oriented they're, uh, they're easily accessible to any age or any ability of skier and yet the variety of the terrain and the variety of the scenery never makes it seem boring. It's always exciting. I was just out a couple of days ago and I must have been out there like hundreds and hundreds of times working and skiing and it, it always seems fresh to me. It's just, it's just such a beautiful place. I would like to say uh, just a thank you to, I mentioned, I mentioned before, our community partners. And uh, so we, we work very closely with the Beaver Valley Ski Club, uh, the Kimberly General Store, Grace Sobel Conservation Authority, uh, MNRF, and uh, a, a special thanks to C and Ski Realty for their support, and uh, a particular thanks for uh, C and Ski helped us set up our website, which is www.beavervalleynordicskiclub.ca.